Yeah, yeah, it was lovely. It was a surprise as well. Prepare for a scintillating dive into the world of Victoria and David Beckham, where love, fame, and scandal collide. With a Netflix documentary unveiling their darkest secrets, including allegations that once shook their marriage, their story just got a whole lot juicier. Victoria has spoken for the first time about her husband's affair with Rebecca Luce, saying that time was the most unhappy I have ever been. It was the hardest period for us because it felt like the world was against us. Spice Girl meets soccer sensation, a romance for the ages and a surprising twist. Get ready for a sizzling expose on Victoria and David Beckham's blazing love story. This fairy tale starts with love at first sight. The couple met in 1997 in the Manchester United Players Lounge. The moment was so important for Victoria that she chronicled it in a 2016 issue of Vogue. Love at first sight does exist, the former singer wrote. She explained that while the other players were drinking at the bar with their mates, David was standing aside with his family. And he has such a cute smile, Victoria added. She then revealed that he asked for her number, which she wrote on a London to Manchester ticket. Of course, the footballer still keeps it. The pair began dating and soon announced their engagement. David had proposed to Victoria with an engagement ring worth $85,000. Not only that, but in 1998, the Lovebirds announced they were expecting their first child. And all this was only a year after they started dating. The couple welcomed Brooklyn Beckham in March 1999, only four months before their wedding. I couldn't wait to marry him. I couldn't wait to say, yes, I do, and I'm married. Finally, and in true fairy tale fashion, the couple married in a ceremony held in a castle outside of Dublin. The wedding ceremony was attended by only 29 guests and gave fashion lovers plenty to talk about. Victoria wore a beautiful gown designed by Vera Wang and an 18 karat gold tiara, while David wore a white suit. After saying I do, the couple changed into matching purple outfits and celebrated with 230 more guests. Things continued going smoothly for the couple, and they welcomed their second son, Romeo James, in 2002. A year later, David joined the Spanish soccer team Real Madrid, so the whole family moved to the capital city of Spain with him. Once they had settled in the new city, the couple became the center of infidelity rumors. David was photographed leaving a Madrid nightclub with a mystery woman. She was later revealed to be his assistant, Rebecca Luce. Luce's brother told the Daily Mail that the footballer had been unfaithful. She has confirmed to me she had an affair with David, he claimed. Rebecca herself talked about the alleged infidelity in an interview with Sky TV, where she described her alleged intimate life with the soccer player. He is a very generous lover. He gives a lot. He pleases, she stated. Meanwhile, David claimed the allegations were false. The simple truth is that I am very happily married. I have a wonderful wife and two very special kids. There is nothing any third party can do to change these facts. Luckily, these rumors didn't break up the couple, who had their third child, Cruz David, in 2005. After some successful years with Real Madrid, David changed teams and joined the LA Galaxy, prompting the family to move across the world yet again. However, the couple was in good company since their friends Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes held a party filled with celebrities to welcome them to Los Angeles. By this point, the couple had become icons in the eye of the public. Maybe that's part of the reason why their 2009 ad campaign with Emporio Armani raised so much attention. Another reason, of course, would be that the ad had the couple lying together wearing very little clothing. That same year, the couple had their 10th wedding anniversary. To commemorate, the soccer star had 10 roses tattooed around his arms, one for each year. Two years later, the pair was invited to one of the world's most aristocratic events, Kate Middleton's royal wedding with William, prince and future king of England. The former singer was pregnant again and showed off her beautiful baby bump. In July 2011, the couple welcomed their first daughter, Harper Seven. She loves to wear little dresses, but then she loves to put her football boots on and get in the garden with her brothers and have a bit of rough and tumble, which, which I think is great. Two years later, David retired from soccer at age 38. The family decided to move back to the United Kingdom to support Victoria's business. Um, you know, I just, I love to make women feel like the best version of themselves and to be able to do that through fashion. I do, I, I, I really, really do. Victoria was often up in the middle of the night having conference calls with her staff across the pond and it just wore her down. She felt that she had sacrificed a lot for David by moving to California, a source told Radar Online. Victoria herself admitted that it was hard for her. I have a lot on my plate. I'm not going to lie about it. I'm tired. I'm really tired, the ex-Spice Girl told the Sunday Mirror. 
Luckily, the soccer star was supportive and the family moved back to England. The family bought a multi-million dollar home in the British capital, which underwent extensive renovations before they settled in. We are glad both members of this couple know how to support each other. The star's romance continued going strong, and in 2017 they renewed their vows after 18 years of marriage. They sure sound like the perfect couple. Maybe that's part of the reason why the pair was invited to another royal wedding in 2018. This time it was Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's. However, that same year, rumors of divorce started surrounding the couple. The posh spice quickly shut down the gossip when her rep told Us Weekly, there is no impending statement, has been no statement, and there is no divorce. The representative described the rumors as fake news fueled by social media, embarrassing for the sloppy outlets who have chosen to write such rubbish. Well, it's not surprising that the couple didn't take the gossip well. It seems like the pair's efforts to improve and maintain their relationship are fruitful, since they continue dedicating lovely details to each other, even after decades of marriage. For their 20th wedding anniversary, they celebrated with a private tour of the Palace of Versailles, a French historical monument which once hosted Marie Antoinette herself. It certainly sounds romantic. Victoria shared the experience on her Instagram, where she wrote, The most incredible visit on a very special day. At the end of the caption, the ex-spice wrote, Can't believe it's been 20 years. In the following years, the couple continued posting tributes on social media commemorating anniversaries and birthdays. Like they say on Instagram, couple goals. The ex-singer has continued gushing about her husband. In an interview with Grazia, she said, David is an incredible dad and husband, and he's very supportive of my work. We are really good partners. Victoria also posted on social media to celebrate her and her husband's anniversary. She wrote, They say he isn't funny. They say I never smile. They said it wouldn't last. Today we celebrate 23 years being married. David, you are my everything. I love you so much. David also shared a tribute in the shape of a clip from a 90s TV interview he and Victoria did. In it, actor Sasha Baron Cohen, who is playing a character, asked David if he was into the Spice Girls before meeting Victoria. The soccer star smiled and answered, No, but I was into Posh. David and Victoria are one of the celebrity couples who have been together the longest, and it's clear they are also one of the strongest ones. Here at Rumor Juice, we hope they share many more years of marriage and wish they continue sharing sweet tributes and making our hearts melt. <laughs>